Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the pilot episode of the Disney Channel show Wander Over Yonder. Wander Over Yonder is created by Craig McCracken. He is the creator of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends and the Powerpuff Girls. His wife, Lauren Faust, is the co-producer for the show, as well as being the story editor. She is a creator for My Little Pony, Frenchers Magic. It has the voice talents of Jack McBrayer as Wander, April Winchell as Sylvia, as well as Tom Hanks, the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants, and Keith Ferguson. Going into Wander Over Yonder, I did not expect this. I did not know what to expect from the show. I just know that it was a new Disney Channel show. It's the third show to be created by Craig McCracken. It's nice to see him return with a brand new show. I was willing to give it a chance. I know a sneak preview called The Picnic came out in August, but that's really a sneak preview though. This is like the official pilot episode, so I'm going to be reviewing what the episode came out was. So it's going to be on The Greatest and The Egg. So let's start off with The Greatest. The Greatest is a good episode. It's a good start. I think Jack McBrayer fits the voice of Wander very well. The voice actress April Winchell, she voices this character named Sylvia Wa Wander's ride very well. And it's nice to hear Tom Kenny do the show. Like, gosh darn, Tom Kenny's like in every single cartoon now. You could totally tell this is a Craig McCracken show just by Facing his style of shows like the cartoon sound effects, his nice little quick cut shots, and that's very unique of this creator right here. And I have to admire him for that. And the humor in the show is good too. It, it's all quirky, it's crazy, and it's, it's pretty darn cool actually. I was impressed by the greatest. I enjoyed the episode. Really my only problem I do have with the episode though is that it is very fast paced like wow it doesn't slow down and that's not a bad thing i was still able to enjoy this episode but you know well i wasn't able to enjoy this episode more because of how fast and quick this episode was while i respect that style that maybe crack mccrack is going to try to go for in the show it got really distracting for me that's my major issue with the greatest but overall, I, The Greatest is a good episode, and I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Next episode is called The Egg. Sylvia tries to protect this egg from the dragon, but then Wonder convinces Sylvia that if she puts the egg on this nest on top of the cliff, the dragon will be nice and all. And this episode, it's a tad better than The Greatest in my opinion. But, it still suffers from the same problem that The Greatest has, which is that it's very fast-paced. But at least in a couple of scenes, they do slow down for maybe a good one minute. I do enjoy this episode, though. There's a lot of funny humor. I probably laughed a little more here than I did with The Greatest. Uh, like that scene with Wander doing his singing and playing while Sylvia is climbing up on top of the... Cliff. I just thought that was clever. Just the whole plot. Everything was just handled so well. I thought it had a well-written plot. And I thought overall it was creative. Yeah, the execution's not the best. And the fast pacing, I think the show needs to fix in terms of pacing. But overall, The Egg is a good episode. I enjoyed it a bit more than The Greatest. Overall, I think it's a good start to what could possibly be a very enjoyable Disney Channel show. It's good to see Craig McCracken come back, and I'm going to give The Egg a 7.5 out of 10. So a 7 out of 10 for The Greatest, a 7.5 out of 10 for The Egg, and I'm definitely going to stay tuned for more episodes of Wonder Over Yonder, the newest Disney Channel show that came out on Friday the 13th. Ooh. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this TV show, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Taga Power!